Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show. This is Martin Wong here. And uh, of course, this is a very uh, special day. I indeed, I have just came back from a short break. And I hope that those of you who is watching uh, today, we thank you for your patronage. And also, this is the final so-called uh, format for our live Facebook for the VSA 360. Uh, beginning next week onwards, on October, we'll be switching to the uh, Smart Roby, right? The Smart Roby uh, with the US market, that will be the new format for the Friday breakfast show. Of course, the Monday will still be the Malaysian breakfast show in here. But uh, many of those VSA 360 to training the stock trade ideas and things like that, we will also cover on live Facebook on Wednesday night. And of course, our Monday training, uh, the Monday training members uh, do come in and uh, check out some of those uh, training um, uh, itinerary and also the uh, course notes that we cover on the uh, Monday night in here. So thank you for uh, coming this morning. So let's get down to the uh, what we have for you this morning of course this morning uh we all know that the continuing sell-off that we have also in the uh, malaysian market now last week i was uh, uh the last session we did was last friday and you could see it was really beginning on a stage three distribution ready to go to stage four but this morning you may have seen the stage four markdown uh what we have right now in here and uh, for those of you how do we know where the market is heading? One of the great things is the VSA 360 continue to give you uh, the kind of um, uh, market outlook and also forecast ahead of time, uh, especially I want to share with you the seasonality in here. Okay, so let's, um, and the VSA 360 with all its uh, features in here, including intraday, uh, I think that many of you who have followed us may have known some of the strength that we have in here and if you have any stocks that you want me to take a look at it and definitely one of the real features is the insider buying and selling in here and of course this will be the new uh, format exploring the US market especially in the S&P 500 starting the 1st of October so take note of it some of you may wanted to begin in the US market definitely this is one way to look into it because I do think that going forward especially our Malaysian market in here not much of an opportunity uh, in here of unless you trade uh, some of the stocks we talk about uh, in our weekly session uh, live Facebook are the penny stocks where there is a uh, little bit of room for maneuverability in here now of course the VSA 360 comes with a powerful in, insider buy and sell guide and that's where I want to share with you uh, what we found out from the last week session in here so thank you and do give us a thumbs up if you find that some of the work that we are doing uh, is uh, right on the side of it in there okay and uh, let's take a look at the market. So one of the five things we want to check it out for the 29th of September is the so-called uh, uh, market. That's right, the VSA 360 market in here. Definitely first thing we want to look at is the index. As you can see, we have the sell law finally. Everything is right back again. You can see the uh, green, uh, red pentagon, red pentagon, red pentagon. So we cannot really shy away uh, too much from the US market. As soon as US market turn, we is going to be turning uh, red pentagon too. Let's check out some of the alert in here. And you can see uh, Uchi Tech has turned green pentagon. That's on the just two days ago. Asiata, uh, Kosan has turned back to red. Gambuda red. Everything is red. Lah, huh? SE, this is uh, C Internet just turned green. Uh, only the US by SK Press. YTL is red. Astro is red. Malakov is only green. And majority of them are really green. Penta also turned red. Pentagon as early as 22nd of September in here, right? I don't have much of an alert except MBMH hit green. Pentagon, this is uh, on the auto uh, uh, kind of. Uh, uh, auto industry which continue to have uh, great sales and earnings going forward in here this is also uh, agreed by the analyst uh, market in here all right uh, the others uh, let me just want to check on to the next here is going back to the dashboard is the foreign funds now with the eight points loss that we have this morning again these are delayed in here you can see the market breaking I'm going to cover that too uh, right now from the chart above, you can see we only have one 
uh, only on Thursday. I suppose this was Thursday, the negative outflow. All right, then we have green inflow. That's why we haven't seen the big sell off that we have. But today, if we're going to see an uh, eight to nine point sell down in here, then definitely we're going to be uh, going downwards some more here. Huh? Right, so if you have a big sell off, like what did we see right now, this bar here, okay, that means uh, foreign funds will likely be selling in here uh, energy sectors has also sort of slowed down uh property is still kicking very very nicely see property uh construction and uh, the other one is logistics is coming back healthcare make new turn uh, <laughs> you can see right it was stronger last week this week was a bit weaker and uh, let's take a look at the uh, klci sector analysis you can see uh pretty much the strongest on top is still energy Right with the seven, you can see energy continue up. This is something that I point out about two weeks ago. Uh, as the uh, oil prices continue to go up, so that's why you have it's been up for thirty days. So and this, uh, so be ready for any market that is likely to be shifting downwards. And usually that's the case. A lot of time that we get uh, when the market has gone up a fair bit in here, do be careful this, because this market can just sort of switch back in nicely uh, in here. Uh, utilities. Uh, and also communication. Let's look on those uh, really nasty one that's been losing money. Uh, we have plantation just turn. Uh, it's still green Pentagon, but it hasn't headed how up in here down two percent. Uh, any red Pentagon that has gone up? No, the, actually the market healthcare has turned red Pentagon. You can see, uh, it didn't didn't go up as much as we can. Turn back to red Pentagon already. So that is also aligned what we've seen in the KLCI in here. So this is a good sector to be looking at. Uh, if you do see some sort of uh, you know, where the market is heading, uh, the kind of direction that we have here. And uh, so let's take a look at the other, what we have done, the alert and also. The, now let's look at the conceptual map for the KLCI. As I said before, the KLCI is still unchanged in the stage three distribution with a markdown at stage four. Huh? The markdown here, stage four, you can see we did have the red Pentagon and the markdown in here. So breaking the 1440, this is where we are. You can see 1440 here. That's the level and that's a danger level. Since I break that, that means market is still in a nice downtrend here, right? And also the uh, railway track is turning up. So there's a nice mushroom down in here. How far are we going to go down and hopefully we do see some sort of uh, uh, uptake in the month of November. Okay, so beginning of first week, we may be at the low point of the market hitting at the support in here. Okay, breaking the 114 and the lowering marks the stage four uh, breakdown in here. You can also see from top here is where the uh, so-called, oh, let me just go back first. Yeah. The FKLI futures. Huh? The FKLI futures is the futures more what we call the uh, leading indicator for the KLCI. You can see finally it breaks down below the 200 day moving average. So break down the 200 day moving average. This is where we have right now. And that's one of the concerns that I have when we see this. After all, the red pentagon breakdown in here so that's where uh we have seen the market started to break down how much is going to go down uh it may retest back but right now we, we really don't know so we have to see a climatic change in the market to see that market you know sort of have a stopping volume so those are the things we are watching for again very consistent for the month of september everything is red <laughs> <laughs> right, as I said before, the seasonality from the VSA 360 does tell tale. But we will see recovery, and I do think that uh, with the exception of uh, 2020, when you have the uh, big sell off, uh, subsequently from 2019 has been very positive because after the sell off that we have, uh, month of October. So, month of October, I will be positive uh, with the scenario going in here. So just keep that in mind. Month of October, this is where the market is bottoming. And next Wednesday will be a special session that I'll be doing uh, with a speaker, inviting speaker. So watch out for the artwork that will be out as I'll be covering more on what's happening on the month of October. Now let's look at the insider and buying selling from last week. Okay, and uh, this from the last episode, which was we did cover was CY Park. And let me just bring up uh, this here, I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so you can see that one here and we can compare 
the uh, 22nd of September. So I'm just going to go up here, CY part. So you go from here, you can see CY, oh, I just got it too big. Got to make it a bit smaller here. You can see CY part uh, did hit, uh, last one was about one something. It did go higher. This white spread bar, but it started to turn back down. Uh, there was a transfer, 12 million shares. I think this one is the company, 12 million shares. Uh, transfer from uh, company to him buying. They were selling about another 6 million shares in here. But take note, when a lot of buying, like selling like this, this is usually we see some profit taking, okay? But initially, if you have spotted it around this area here, around 80 cent, moving to uh, maybe touching $1, that's a 20% return. So usually you want to be really looking at the shares when in the stage one accumulation, where we see some sort of buying. That's actually present a good opportunity, a low risk kind of entry. All right, next one we have is uh, uh, ICAP. Now ICAP has been an attention because uh, we have uh, some London uh, fund manager buying. So ICAP here, and when you scroll down here, right, uh, you can see uh, this was where the ATK, City of London Investment Management Company. Okay, just, just go up here because of my head here. Okay, and uh, you can see it's still moving sideways. Okay, let's go for another one. Uh, this is the matrix. Okay, so looking at matrix. Push this up again. So you can see Matrix is still holding up the 152. Yeah, you can see last week, right? This was here, started to move up in here. So it's still holding up this nice channel in here, about 152 here. So that's that's a really good thing. Next one we have is uh, VDAT. Now VDAT has continued to uh, see lots of buying. VDAT, all right? I think the owner is buying. The owner of the company is buying with that one. So we that we can see it's continued to go up nicely to 51 cent. And if you look at last week was around uh, just about the same price too, but started to go up. I think I benefited from this and some of the members have been following it also. And also take note, uh, there are also some buying, continue buying. You see here, there was a selling of 4 million and uh, Tan Sri Ikat Opa is still buying here. Okay, so I do think Excuse me, this one has a bit more room to go up. Did sell a couple hundred K okay here, right? Uh, so that's probably tell you where the uh, market is likely to be going up, okay? 22nd and uh, 1st of September, previously we had uh, was Seng Kao. Let's take a look at Seng Kao right now, which is uh, about early this month. And we did see also an uh, owner, right? This one was owner buying, but you can see buying, yeah. 391k, uh, 40k, and uh, it's moved up to about 58 cents from where we are. So as soon as it's turned green pentagon, and that's where we talk about it. So if you see some sort of buying, that's actually the turning of the green pentagon at the low bit. I also find that this is a very, very uh, similar pattern. When the market sell off, the owner usually goes in and buy that. That's where you get this kind of pattern. They will buy, 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 then turn green pentagon, then they start to push up. All right, so that is the opportunity that we see uh, in times like this. If you agree with me, give me a thumbs up in here because that's how we see. Uh, yeah, Kevin is looking at the uh, Apex help. Sure, sure, no problem, Kevin. Oh, we'll take a look at that one too, okay? And then we have the VS, okay? VS has continued buying. That was around, I think this, let's take a look at this. One shares here, VS Industry. You can see there's a call to hold at 90 cent, right? Uh, this was where we were on 18th of August was around 90 cent. It's gone beyond that since then huh? to $1 in here. So that's a good move. So you give it a bit of time. You can see on the left hand side on the 18th of August, there was some buying in here. There was still continual buying August. You can see here now and let's call it the hold at 90 cent, right? So this is where we are. Okay, so let's take a look at this week buying. Okay, this week we have a Ramso. Okay, Ramso. Of course, uh, we won't able to document. Uh, we won't be able to see this already because uh, maybe next next Sunday. Uh, sorry, next Friday when we cover the U.S. market, we might cover back where this is heading to. We that continue to see buying too. You can see here. That's what I like about it uh, for this week of buying. And then you have also 
uh, Jandayu, uh, JSB. This is where I talk about when the market fall to the big selling in here, the owner go in and buy. Right? Very similar to what we saw for one of the shares there. Okay. Then we have also uh, BJ Food, the owner of the company also buying all right, in here. All right. And um, of course, our VSA 3, 360, it's not possible without the patronage of our member in here. Many of you who've been a great support in here. And what we'd want to do over this course of six months, 12 months, 18 months, uh, or some of them as, as long as 24 months, is to share the knowledge that we have and how you're able to benefit from it. Of course, our program, we want to start measuring you as soon as six months to bring the best out from you in Trade VSA. And we do our uh, uh, monthly competition as such that you can see from here at the end of the six month competition right uh, we have uh, winners in here we have Sukumaran and the win rates are pretty good 67 percent 60 percent and also Chu at 52 percent in here and uh, you know this is the kind of uh, work that we do and you can see from here this is Sukumaran you know uh, taking a, a holiday which I do ask him to come back and do share a bit of in here with a 16.2 percent gain and 67 uh, win rates uh, which is very, very good. And I'm pretty, pretty proud of you, uh, Sukumaran, uh, when you first met up in here with the wife and the two children too. And uh, that's something that makes us very proud. And of course, those of you who wanted to know more about our program, we have the shorter time frame, the longer time frame in here, very reasonably. And uh, we do have some specials, those of you who are really interested in here. Great review in here. Love to hear your feedback. And of course, right now, let's take a look at some of the stocks uh, that we have for our members here and uh, we have uh, a health okay now a health again is for our rating it's gone back to two dollars already okay this is one of those but in the longer run it does make a lot of sense you can see from 10,000 ringgit gone up to 42,000 ringgit if you're holding it for about six or seven it's a really good stock and guess what lots of wow a lot of people buying here 40k la 50k la so this is a good 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 area yeah, there could be some sort of uh, uh change of hand in here right lots of buying dr kirk Dr. Apex, uh, something is cooking, lah. 252. I think you should keep it, lah. Kevin here, this one in, uh, in here. Uh, Dutch lady. Okay, so it's important that you use the information that we have here. Dutch lady, a lot of selling by CD groups. Uh, call to buy at $27, at least you do know. I'm sorry, just move it up here. $27, you know the uh, buying price here. So that's uh, good. It continue to go up. So this one's pretty okay uh, a hell Dutch lady and I also have a uh, pang is uh, EMCC this is a, this is a new stock yes it is a new stock and it's a very small uh, stock there's only three stocks there's nothing much to comment from here because this is a, a, a evergreen max cash <laughs> okay can't comment uh, because it's so new Okay, this one I believe is a is a, is a along business, right? Am I correct? So what you want to do is just go over to EMCC. Okay, and uh, yeah, we short straight up. If you have it at a listing price, it will be great. Eleven percent, eleven percent. But take note, piracy. There's even one day three, right? After shoot up the uh, oh, all the way down, down, down. Uh, just be careful, ah. Uh. You know, you can see this one here. So don't try to ride up too high, lah, uh. Uh, take some profit if I were you if you have this uh, no information even in trading view too early to start so you need to rely on the prospector so we have Elwin Ong on Sunview okay let's take a look at Sunview right now I think Sunview is a trading share Elwin Sunview is one of the industrial product I think they make the solar one right am I correct yeah you can see here engineering or uh, EPCC okay EPCC uh, there's a call to buy that's about it public bank right right now got red pentagon now okay red pentagon so that's the one but do take note this one can be very volatile one now it's not one of the stocks that i i do uh want to hold it for longer term it, it swings up and swings down and at least like it at 185 which is that buy call which is very high if you're longer term yes uh, but you can swing back down we see 90 and swing back down now it's red pentagon so just take note of it in here right uh uh to me it's a small cap stock 
uh, you can see only just 369 million in here okay lots of swing up or swing down okay any more stocks let us know all right uh, don't forget coming next uh, Friday we'll change you a new format we'll be doing the smart Roby show okay uh, with the US market so pretty similar to the Malaysian format we're doing the US market and I also want our, our members to you know start moving, looking to US market because uh, some of the initiative they'll be doing will give you on board to US market India so we have Astro okay Kevin want me to look at Astro show just before we take off okay Astro Astro again is a longer term investment it's a it's number one out of 12 uh, and this is giving it wow, so little wow, 38 cent wow, so chum wow okay la, if that's the case better get out <laughs> right uh, call to sell every thing is also called to sell la, huh? okay broken through the uh, high debt country uh, this one you know la, because of all the androids uh, TV box I think this one will has a lot of difficulty on that one okay uh, FKLI is diving yeah yeah, yeah I know no right this one understood that today as I said before uh, foreign funds are selling normally when you have this one you, you get foreign funds selling because also breaking of the 200 day moving average yeah uh, which I talk about it let me just show you what I mean so when you have the breaking of 200 moving average a lot of people want to chow like that it was holding holding break okay once it break as also Friday isn't it right then we have to see US how is it US is also breaking which I'll update on the uh, podcast there okay Okay, next one is uh, Corazo, uh, Coraza, is it Coraza? Yes, Coraza. Coraza, Green Pentagon, moving back down here. And what did they do? Industrial product, wow, 274. 16 now, 16. Uh. Okay, uh, not that strong. I like can see from here, also Red Pentagon the D. Okay, everything is so go down to Red Pentagon. There's no insider buying there. Uh, if you bought it, the market didn't move for a few what you just need to cut and move on to the next stock. Sometimes it does happen. Okay, you bought it, come back down here, it's time to go on, look for other shares. All right, and again, uh, for those of you who are member, uh, I've just, you know, cut out, I cut out the HPPB, right, which is the stocks that I have. I think we done it. I still have uh, two more shares here, which is still okay. Uh, Paxson. 1428 and also VDAT, which I'll talk about it uh, more in the members uh, channel in here. If you look at uh, Paxson, okay, Paxson, yeah, still holding up in here. Let's see how, how we'll do. And uh, and we also have in our members section training, uh, Mayfun is still on the top, right? I have moved forward because I cut loss, huh? so I'm down to 49,000. So I encourage many of our members. Uh, those of you to join in and uh, do our short-term trading where uh, we were sharing of trade ideas you can follow me or you can follow some of the leader bot in here to ensure that you are always you know uh, practicing uh, uh, this what they call paper money before using real, mo real money in here at the same time uh, this is actually a good ground for you to be practicing and, and we also extend uh, this same methodology for the US market in here join us for this uh, you know uh, learning experience in here or join our telegram uh, chat room for all our stock market information in here all right something on in kanga uh, kanga i think you can check it out all right uh, later for uh punk that's all i have and i'll see you on monday uh, monday for our breakfast show in here our program and have a good weekend bye bye